Caesar salad. It must be one of the most popular salads out there all over America. Uh, you begin with croutons, bread croutons. So uh, all bread that you have, great way of using it. Cut the crust off. And you just take the, the, the croutons, you put them on a, on a baking pan like that, and you put them in a 350-degree oven. About 50 minutes, it gets just nice like that. So once you have that ready, then we get into the salad. And I just kind of cut the, 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 big, the big leaves off like that. And I cut it in slices just like that. And you wash it after you cut it. Then it remains fresher. You cover it with a paper towel, wet like that, and you keep it in the refrigerator until you're ready to use and becomes nice and crispy. The dressing, it has egg yolks. And you know, egg yolks are a great binder for dressing. So if you make any kind of dressing and uh, you want it to be kind of creamy, just put some cooked egg yolk right in it. Like that. And that will bind and make it all nice and dense. Mustard. And again, I mean, I like mustard. It gives it a good zesty flavor. Garlic, you like one or two, it's up to you. Anchovies, that's the ingredient that, oh, but you know, oh, how many do you put? Two, three, I like anchovies as well. You know that, that I use anchovies to flavor a lot of my dishes. And uh, in the Caesar salad, even one will do if you're really skeptical about having too much anchovies. But don't be afraid of anchovies. It really kind of, once it's blended in with the mustard, with the oil, with the vinegar, it really kind of dissipates. So, vinegar. And usually it's about one third vinegar to two thirds of the oil in a dressing. Let's see where this takes us. A little bit of salt. I will put a little bit of salt. So we have the dressing ready. Let me take a nice bowl where I'm gonna toss it comfortably, the Caesar salad. Okay. A little bit of salt now. I have salt here, but that dressing is not really enough to salt all of it. Let's put in the, the croutons. Just like that. I don't like when the Caesar salad is kind of loaded with dressing. It's soaked in the dressing. I like just enough for the coating, so I think that this will be enough, and I'll add some oil and vinegar additional. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit more of vinegar, just a little bit more of oil, and I'm going to toss it well. The cheese, I'm going to put it after I toss the salad. Because if I toss the cheese now in, with the dressing like that, it would fall, form lumps. And on the other hand, once we have all the pieces of, of the lettuce coated with the dressing, the cheese will adhere to that. Okay, let me just taste. 
Perfect. Delicious. Okay. Cheese. That's a good grated cheese to dress your Caesar salad. At least Lydia's way. The cheese is sticking to the lettuce itself. Okay. And it's as simple as that. So how long can a dress salad like this uh, stand? Not too long. Although romaine is resilient, it'll begin to wilt. So you can make it, you can put it in the refrigerator just like that for five, 10 minutes, but then get it out to your guests. And let's see. To add that extra touch, a little bit of grated cheese, the last minute always does the trick. Or you can put a piece of cheese on the table. So here we are. Mm. Delicious, perfect. It's um, I like it when it when it has that kind of acidic acidic end to it. You know, nice and clean. It leaves a delicious, perfect and easy.